Novak Djokovic is the current king of tennis. Ranked number one in the world, he is the best ever to do it. With over 134 million in-career winnings and an even more money off the court with endorsements from clothing, watches, software brands, he's built himself a net worth of $220 million. There's no doubt that Novak Djokovic is, uh, is very wealthy. And I'm here to tell you how he spends his fortune, because what better to do with your time than obsess over how much more money you could have? To start, how about a yacht? But not just some average looking yacht, Novak Djokovic owns a luxury Sunseeker yacht called the Manhattan 60. The Sunseeker yacht reportedly cost about $2.5 million and hosts four cabins, a salon, a kitchen, bathroom, a shower, jacuzzi, and also a speedboat if you ever needed to go brrrr. So, other amenities include massive TVs, an excellent sound system, and a minibar. The Sunseeker yacht is almost 20 meters long, with a speed of 40 miles per hour. It, it seems like a good place to spend some time with the fam or a couple of friends or literally anybody. On another note, the Novak Djokovic Foundation and its founding family have done a lot, including supporting those in need during the pandemic. In 2020, the Djokovic family announced a $1.4 million donation through their foundation for the purchase of ventilators and medical equipment to support hospitals and other institutions in Serbia's battle against the virus. The Novak Djokovic Foundation is also running a Season of Giving campaign for the fourth straight year to raise money for the opening of a new preschool in Niz, Serbia. The, this foundation continues to strive towards its goal of making sure all Serbian children have access to preschool in 10 years. This year, the Djokovic family will once again be matching donations. Last year, fans donated about $147,000, which was also matched for a total of $300,000, so give or take. Charity is always a good thing to do with that extra money. It feels a lot better than buying just another Lambo or whatnot. You get to change lives. Separately, Novak Djokovic knows exactly how to show his wealth just the, just the way he arrives at some events. The tennis superstar was the definition of style when he made his entrance on helicopter on day three of the Boodles pre-Wimbledon warm-up event at Stoke Park, Buckinghamshire. If he did own the helicopter, which he probably does, it would cost about $5 million. The number one tennis player in the world also has a great love for cars, and his collection has been known to be top-notch. Djokovic is not just the proud owner of a Peugeot, but he's also the company's brand ambassador. He even has his own limited edition Peugeot E208, ex Novak Djokovic, which was given to him as a gift and a prize for his Australian 2020 competition win. He also has a Peugeot RCZ, which has a 1.6 liter petrol engine. It costs $35,000 based on the chosen trim level, but those were the boring ones. He also owns a Bentley Continental GT. Considered one by the most popular Bentley cars, this beauty costs about 200 grand. Part of Novak Djokovic's collection is the Mercedes-Benz S500. This S-Class Benz is kitted with a 3-liter turbocharged inline 6-cylinder engine with a 9-speed automatic transition. This car cost about $110,000, which isn't the most on this list, but it's still a lot of money. A sleek Aston Martin DB9 Volante is also a part of his collection. This car is available in a coupe and a convertible version. Novak's Aston Martin is a convertible Aston Martin packing a 5.9 liter V12 engine. It's worth about $215,000. Last but not least is an Audi R8. The R8 is the fastest car in Novak Djokovic's collection with a top speed of 205 miles per hour. It's also packing a V10 engine and costs about 145 grand. Novak's got a few houses to his name. One of them is a condo located at Miami Beach that costs about $7.2 million. This is a 2,420, hey, 420, ha, 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 that's the number, ah, whatever, square foot condo located in an exclusive Surfside neighborhood, a luxury development in Florida. The ninth floor Sky Via has three bedrooms and three and a half bathrooms, plus plenty of amenities too, including interiors by Arena Dumas, custom stone countertops and backsplashes, Zucchetti bathroom fixtures, and 10 inches floor to ceiling windows. Oh boy. The development boasts two private swimming pools plus an exclusive underground spa with a Vichy shower. It also boasts a panoramic 25-foot wraparound balcony that overlooks the Atlantic Ocean and, and the bay and the park and the setting. That includes a 55-foot heated pool along with a sauna, a steam room, a fitness center, and a wet bar. And that's not all. There's also a Turkish hammam, a, a private library and lounges, a technology center, an enoteca with an in-house sommelier, the, a restaurant run by Toscana Divino, uh, a beach and butler service, private gardens, resort cabanas, zen-like water features, and a custom botanical exhibit. That was one breath, believe it or not. He could basically never leave the resort and live the best life possible. 
His Miami condo is full of peace and serenity and free of the hustle of South Beach. He said, I was inspired by the unmatched level of service, exclusive park access, in-house botanist and panoramic views of both land and sea. It provides all the perfect lifestyles for me and my wife, Jelena. Novak Djokovic also has an apartment in New York City. In 2017, he parted with over $11 million for two luxury apartments in the same building in the Big Apple. The two apartments were not adjacent, so he won't be able to combine them. However, they are on the same floor, so I mean, a slumber party with himself. Its features include white oak floors, Basilatina lava stone kitchen worktops, custom-made furniture, swimming pools, a terrace, and heated floors. Shared amenities include a lounge with a library, an outdoor terrace, a large pool, a gym with a spa, a media room, and an automatic parking with a private driveway. Like many athletes, Djokovic has a home in Monaco. Monte Carlo is a high-profile tax haven thanks to its personal and business tax laws and policies, but it also offers just a general luxurious lifestyle, as well as nice savings. Djokovic owns a hillside mansion in Monte Carlo, which faces Mediterranean waters. The number one tennis player has mentioned the reason why he prefers to live there. He says, Monte Carlo is a place where a lot of athletes in general live, including many tennis players in the last couple of decades. The first time I arrived in Monte Carlo was for qualifications for the tournament and when I was 17. And after them, I started spending a little more time here or there because that's where my coach lived. Ricardo Piatti, my, my former coach, he still lives there. But most importantly, I have my own place there and I can dedicate my time and focus on tennis. I just enjoy it, he added. Not much is known about how much Novak Djokovic paid for his hillside mansion, but we know it's worth at least one or two dollars. I mean, million. If Novak Djokovic ever decides to return to his homeland, he has a penthouse in New Belgrade, Serbia, which is worth more than 600 grand. He reportedly loves to spend his summers there with his family, and I honestly, it's pretty easy to understand why. This luxury home is built on the shores of the Pavlovic Lake, and there are three bedrooms, three bathrooms, a huge dining room and kitchen, and also a spacious parking lot for all of his rides, or whips as the kids call them. There's also a swimming pool located on the terrace as well. Novak Djokovic spends about $20,000 a month just to make 16 people take care of the house while he's not there. We're not done yet, though. Novak owns his own mansion overlooking Marbella's Golden Mile. This nine-bedroom mansion is where Novak Djokovic stayed before his ill-fated charity tennis event that sparked criticism for his lack of safety precautions. This stunning via is, is Moroccan in style and has a private grass tennis court, a gym, spa, game room, entertainment room, swimming pool, and a sauna. Man! This stuff is so cool, there's so many features, I hate it and love it. The kitchen is also fitted with modern appliances as expected. Novak Djokovic also has family nearby. Both of his brothers Marco and Jorge are said to live in the area. Reports also claim that he has a duplex in Tivat, Porto Montenegro. Estimated price for those properties, a few millis that he's probably had laying around in one of his pockets. We could say that wherever Djokovic lands, he's always home. Sometimes athletes do go to the extreme measures for performance uh, that even their greatest fans end up shocked with. Same goes for Novak. He showed up at a, at a tennis match in Arthur Ashe Stadium with, with a personal hyperbaric chamber. The pod let users inhale 100% oxygen, improving their performance and speeding up their recovery. This device sent him back approximately $75,000 alone. We could easily say that the superstar spends like a million dollars a year on training and wellness. But whenever he gets a little break from tennis, he tries to go on vacations to finish and to rest and refresh. After a tiresome 2021 season, Novak Djokovic is having a joyful time in Serbia. And he was recently seen at the beautiful Kopaunik Mountain in Serbia. He's also known to enjoy Croatia and has been seen vacationing there with his family. He's visited uh, Rithi Ra Maldiv with his family. Uh, each trip cost him a couple thousand thousand, but it's money well spent in my opinion. And that's it, actually, believe it or not. I humbly thank you for watching, um, uh, yeah, I got nothing else to spew at you, so I'm just gonna say goodbye.